This is a CBS 2 News update. I'm Mary Calvey. Here's what's happening in the news. We begin with a commuter alert, a signal problem causing massive delays on the subway. Photos and videos from social media showing the long lines and the packed trains. The issue began with a signal problem at the 5th Avenue 59th Street stop. The problem forced the MTA to reroute trains, leading to those delays and backups on the NWRQ and F lines. Grief counselors will be at the Columbus Magnet School in Norwalk, Connecticut today following the flu related death of six year old Emma Splain. Counselors also will be at the Nicholas LaCourt Peterston Elementary School in Elizabeth, New Jersey after the flu related death of seven year old Daniela Gennaro. Schools and buses in Elizabeth were being scrubbed down last night. A frightening scene in Jacksonville, Florida. Two workmen were waterproofing a high rise yesterday when scaffolding broke free on one end of the platform. One man wound up dangling from a harness near the 17th floor, the other clinging to the platform. A passerby heard the cries for help. When I got closer, um, the one that was hanging from the harness, he was hollering, you know, screaming for the guy up top that was operating, I guess, the um, scalpel. The men dangled for about 30 minutes until firefighters pulled them to safety at the top of the building as a crowd below cheered. Apple has released security updates for its operating systems for iPhones, iPads, and other products. It's to address a bug that causes devices to crash when a certain Indian language symbol is displayed. The bug was discovered last week. It can affect any app that can display characters, including Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and messaging. The sights of the city were obscured this morning. This was the view from the ferry headed into Midtown, but a morning of fog could turn into a very nice afternoon. Let's turn things over to John Elliott. Well, we are still stuck with some fog for parts of the area, perched high atop Midtown. One of our cameras still has a few little drops of drizzle to deal with, too. 54, winds out of the west 9 to 16. So current temperature is 54, and it's been a hard battle to get to 54. Because of the gray, visibility is better at our area airports in and around town. Still some fog. Hey, just got a little bit of an improvement there in Monticello. Out on the east end, though, a couple of stations still reporting quarter mile visibility. But numbers, with the exception of the east end, are up. So, yeah, we are shooting for 65. Not a record today. Record territory tomorrow after a little bit of morning fog. And then it's a lot cooler and turns wet Thursday. John, thank you. And that's your CBS 2 News update. I'm Mary Calvi. Join us in just a moment for a live Facebook after show.